Hey guys, Behind Little Animals. Um, this is my first video tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you how to create a, a basic um, lens flare. Um, hopefully this will be helpful in uh, your future videos. Um, I know it'll be helpful in mine. Right, so let's, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I'm just going to start a new scene and we're going to delete the default cube and we're going to delete the default lamp. And we're going to um, go into side view by pressing 1 and we're going to hit 5 to go into orthographic view um, then we're going to hit shift A and we're going to say um, add icosphere set that to um, 1 and control, we're going to hit control alt 0 to move the camera that position um, and then oh, before I do that thunder um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the world settings and select paper sky and move it to black um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a material to this and the only thing we're going to mess with is the emission value we're going to put that at um, 20 that's the number I've been using um, and then what we're going to do is just going to scale this down um, about like that and we're just going to move it so over here and move one over here and, um, the smaller they are the better they look in my opinion um, you, you can play around with them for yourself but in my personal experience the smaller the object is the better the flare looks um, if you do too big it just gets a real big burnout um, which doesn't look very desirable um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into render and we're going to select dimension to be at 100% and we're going to remove um, anti-assailing and then we're just going to jump over here to the compositor and um, get rid of that we're going to use backdrop and use nodes um, and we're going to go ahead and delete that because we won't need it for a while um, shift A, we're going to add a distort and a scale, shift A, and it's going to add a output to viewer, alright, and we're going to put this right here, and we're going to put this at a 0.7, and a 0.7, and we we'll connect those together, alright, now we have the basic set up here and we can begin um, try to blow this through this as quick as possible so I can have the smallest possible um, render <laughs> alright now we get shift A and we're going to add a color balance first um, and we're just going to grab the blue and move it up to right there we're going to add a filter and it's going to be a glare and go ahead and duplicate that um, let's grab both of them and move one there and there alright and this one I want to be on the high this one needs to be a ghost that needs to be 0.5 streaks need to be a level of 2 um, 2 Irritation need to be at five. Um, this threshold needs to be at point two. Irritation of two, and then we need to um, keep it moving. Um, let me check my other setup here. Um, and now what we're going to add is a filter blur. Fast Gaussian. Um, I'm going to put that at um, 130 by a 3, and we're going to shift A, and we're going to add a nether glare. Um, this one we want to be a fog glow, and we're going to put it in just a bit of medium. The uh, size of it at 9, and the threshold we want to be at 0. I'm going to shift A. Add another glare, um, and 
this one we want to be a simple star. That needs to be a 0 0.7. That needs to be a 0 0.8. And then we have to keep moving. Um, wait for the computer to catch up later. Input. We're going to select an image. Open. Um, I'm using a uh, texture I got from CG Textures. Um, I'll attach a link to it. It's called Splatter Colored 0010. Open. Um, and then what we're going to do is, first thing we do is add a distort to it. Um, add a, a scale to the uh, render size so that there aren't any conflicting dimensions. And we're going to hit Shift A and we're going to add two math nodes. So under Converter, Math, Shift D, Duplicate it. We're going to attach this into the top value. And, oops, that into the top value. This one we want to be greater than, and this one we want to be um, our cosine. And then what we're going to do is Shift A, um, Filter, Blur. We want Fast Gaussian. I'm going to hit Shift D, Duplicate it. Which one of these needs to be connected? This one needs to be a 18 by a 10, and this one needs to be a um, 8 by a 8. All right, and then we need to attach that right there. Shift A, color, mix, multiply, Shift D, multiply. Select both of them to 0.8. Oh, I just remembered I forgot a step. Uh, let's move these this way a little bit, and we're going to Shift A, Filter, Filter, drop in that, and we're going to put it to a Pruitt, and put it at a 0.575. And now what we're going to do, we're going to Shift A, and we're going to add um, a color bounce again um, and this time we're just going to drop that right there put this to a light blue put this to the red Ooh, not yellow red um, then we're going to do a shift A um, add distort um, displace Nope, and distortion. Um, I'm going to put this at a 0 .035, uh, I guess. I'm going to shift A, filter, fog glow, make this a fog glow. Alright, make it a 0.5. And just leave that there. And that might be it. Something isn't looking right. Um, let's check my numbers here. It's just not rendering as bright as it should. So we're just going to brighten that up. Um, like, should create a better looking effect. Um, let's go ahead and come back over to our um, lens distortion and put it at a 0 0.02. Um, that creates a, a better look, I think. looks a little strong on the red, so let's tone that down. You need to sit here and tweak all these little settings so you get the, the look that you want. Um, I think that that is everything. Let me check.
check here. Yep, fast collagen. Aha. Uh -huh. Part of my problem. Right there. Go ahead and let that render out again. Alright, yeah, that looks a lot better. And uh, there you go, there's the basics of creating an anamorphic lens flare in Blender. Thanks for watching.